back. It starts off with these super generic 90s white people. They doing the Candyman thing in the mirror, you know. You gotta say his name five times and shit. You know what it is. I'm sure you've done it before. You wanna try it? Candyman. 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 The dude stops and only says it four times though, like a hoe. No one ever got past four. They about to smash or whatever, he having a good time. The girl looks in the mirror and says Candyman for the last time. Candyman. You know, it's not really fair that he killed her. She technically only said it one time, and it just added on to the four times another person said it. Also, how long does that shit last? Like, if niggas say Candyman four times, then go to sleep, and wake up the next day and say it one more time, he still kill you, or when does it reset is my question. I'm not trying to be an asshole, I'm genuinely curious. Candyman. Bro, I'm really about the GTO pickle cheese. It then cuts to the main character, this other white girl. She a graduate student and she trying to write a paper about Candyman and she got that fucking stupid ass 90s haircut. What is oh that shit? God. Was that shit ever attractive? This bitch look like fucking Jerry Springer. She goes to visit her husband, he a professor or something. They successful white people. Uh, the dashing professor. Hi. These old janitor bitches come in and talk about Candyman. There was some lady in a tub and, and, and she heard a noise. So Ruthie called 911 and she said there's somebody coming through the walls. They thought the lady was crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Apparently he live in the projects and he out there killing niggas. Bro, you a whole ghost. You can go anywhere you want, but you stayed in the projects and you out there booling and shit too? Terrorizing people? Come on, man. Niggas, man. We gotta do better. The white girl's best friends with this one bitch that I thought was the bitch from Half and Half at first. That's not her, though. Also, on an unrelated note, that Half and Half bitch super sexy. Candyman, 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 Candyman. 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 The white girl wants to go to the projects to get more info for that paper. The black girl scared though of the hood. So, you know, that's something. Matthew, the gangs hold this whole neighborhood hostage. They go to the apartment where the janitor bitches said that lady died. And it's scary. Scary hood movie. Bernadette. This one bitch that live in the apartments pops up, and she doing that fucking terrible 90s overacting and shit. You know what I mean. Well, you don't belong here, lady. You don't belong going through people's apartments and things. She invites them over and introduces them to the baby. She a nice lady. You all know about Ruthie Jean? I heard her screaming. He, he could come right through these walls, you know? Hmm. Candyman. They have this fucking super white, super 90s dinner party now. Everybody in the world smokes cigarettes and shit. Also, Benjamin Franklin is in the movie for some reason. He being an asshole and he think he better than everybody else. Typical forefather shit. You really must read the paper I wrote about him 10 years ago. <laughs> His father had amassed a considerable fortune from designing a device for the mass producing of shoes. He was commissioned by a wealthy landowner to capture his daughter's virginal beauty. They fell deeply in love and she became pregnant. The father executed a terrible revenge. Dozens of hives filled with hungry bees. The white lady goes back to the projects and she meets some little kid. She start asking him questions. He can't say nothing or Candyman will get him. I can't say nothing. A Candyman will get me. The kid ends up telling the white lady where Candyman lives. He didn't want to at first, but she hit him with that old classic, unless you scared, and it works because he dumb and a little kid. Unless you're too scared. In there, boy got killed there. His mom was in the store. And the boy, he need to go, you know, to the bathroom. He's lying on the floor in a pool of blood, holding himself. Yeah, so Candyman cut some little kid's dick off back in the day, like on some weird shit. This bitch really wants to write this paper for some reason. She goes into this dirty ass, diarrhea ass bathroom. Like, seriously? Hungry bee. Candyman. Candyman. 
I'm from the University of Illinois. This random nigga come in with some goons and he's holding a hook. He doing like a fake Candyman cosplay thing, committing crimes, dressing up. These niggas some clowns. I hear you looking for Candyman, bitch. Well, you found him. Fake Candyman beats the dog shit out this lady. That's why you shouldn't fucking be doing shit like this, lady. Number four, step forward and set a line. We hear you looking for Candyman, bitch. Number five, step forward and set a line. We hear you looking for Candyman, bitch. What about the little boy, Jake? This little nigga still here without his parents? They legit kind of kidnapped this nigga. I wanna go home. You know, Jake isn't a name I would pick for a kid in the projects. I could imagine a whole Jacob or maybe a Jaquan. But Jake? Was this written by a white dude also? The cops lock fake Candyman up and everybody happy now. They all think he the real Candyman and pin all the Candyman murders on him. That's what the fuck you get, idiot. Here you're looking for Candyman, bitch. Things are looking up for the white girl and her friend. They getting their paper published. We're gonna be published. At this point, the real Candyman is taking his sweet ass time showing up. Like, they did the Candyman shit ages ago and they're fine. This bitch injuries healed and some more shit. Nigga procrastinate like a motherfucker. Swear niggas, bro. Helen. Do I know you? No. No. But you doubted me. I am the writing on the wall. Without these things, I am nothing. So now, I must shed innocent blood. The white girl wakes up and she's covered in blood. Apparently Candyman killed the one lady dog and her baby. That's not cool. You shouldn't kill people's dogs and babies. So he like frames the white girl for that crime I guess. I mean why do that though? Didn't he just give the speech about he needs people to believe in him? Why would he immediately give away the credit and shit? Also this scene would have been way better if this fucking actress wasn't fucking doing this shit. Like her screaming is believable but something about the way she's weakly flailing around during the fight. Like ma'am this shit looks super fake. <laughs> the cops treating this white lady like shit. Take off your brazier. <laughs> Where's the baby? Uh, I don't know. You're sick. Also, it turns out the baby not dead actually. It's just missing. The dog is definitely super dead though. Ah, really miss my nigga. Ah. The white lady husband comes and bails her out of jail. He says he believes her that she didn't kill the dog or whatever, but he probably don't believe her. This bitch sound hella guilty. There's no writing this shit off, really. I, I blacked out. I mean, I, I don't know what happened. Candyman, bitch. Your disbelief destroyed the faith of my congregation. Come with me and be immortal. Helen! <laughs> the white lady friend gets killed by Candyman. She gets sent to the crazy house now, which, of course, right? There seems to be a message in here. There's a black man getting a white lady in trouble for something she didn't do. Like a switcheroo and shit, I don't know. No, you can't leave me here. I can't defend myself. <laughs> yeah, cause you've been doing such a fucking great job defending yourself so far. You pass out every time this nigga show up. He don't even touch you and shit. I'm starting to think this bitch did it, bro. Candyman keep fucking with this bitch mind. He basically like, you should let me kill you. Be a ghost with me. 
Shit not that bad, fucking Helen. Also, he still has the baby, so he's holding that over her head too. Like, damn, this nigga Candyman want a white bitch so bad. Like, bro, don't be so thirsty. You know how many Project Girls probably did the Candyman shit in the mirror? He probably just murked them instantly and shit. But the first white girl do it, now you want to fucking marry her and shit. Bro, you gotta stop that. Allow me at least to kiss. <laughs> I can call him. Candyman. Candyman. You're mine now. Oh, fuck! The white lady escapes from the crazy house and goes home to her husband. He already got a whole new life and shit. He moved this whole other bitch in and shit. It's kind of savage. Get out of my home. I mean, honestly, bitch, this man has been more than patient with your situation. There's too many dead bodies. You can't possibly expect him to still believe you. Then again, I see why she's still mad. It's been like a month. This nigga got a whole other bitch living there now. He had the bitch the whole time and shit, it looks like. Yeah, no, this nigga an asshole. What's the matter, Trevor? Scared of something. All you have left is my desire for you. Yeah, that's true. You might as well go with him now. There's nowhere else to go. I mean, that's a weird way to book a bitch, but he fucking, it worked. She wants the baby back. Plus, she'd rather join this nigga than go to jail. So she goes to see him in the projects again. You came to me. Come with me and be immortal. Bro, what's your angle? Do you want this bitch to like you or not? That shit not attractive, cuz. I really don't get it. It's like, come live in the projects with me, white lady. And fucking also is bees everywhere and shit. It's dirty and shit. Like, no, your game is trash, Candy Man. You get no hoes. Side note, what the fuck? Are these real bees? These bees look real as fuck, bro. I gotta look this up. So apparently they are real, they real life bees in this man's mouth, y'all. Niggas will do anything for the check. They're newborn bees, so the stingers are less powerful, it says. Still, this nigga got stung hella times. It says here he also got a thousand dollar bonus for every time he got stung. So fucking, it's hella worth it. Candyman lets the baby go, and by lets the baby go, I mean he drops him off in this big ass pile of trash. They brought up the trash pile once earlier. It's supposed to be a bonfire for some vague ass party they throwing. Somebody building a bonfire? Yeah, for the party. He's here. Nah, I call bullshit. First off, he rounded all these niggas up way too quickly. Second, since when does a kid saying I saw a monster or whatever warrant this kind of response? Even if I knew Candyman was real, I still wouldn't believe this nigga. Like, how did he know it wasn't a crackhead or some shit? He didn't see that nigga at all, bro. You and I, our bones will soon be ashes and we shall never be separated again. exactly are the rules for this nigga like i thought he was a ghost or some shit like he lives in a mirror and you can't see him on a camera but you can just straight up stab this motherfucker also he can teleport and shit but he's like manually chasing her through this fire The other characters we kind of met are here at the funeral, Benjamin Franklin. Are these really the only people she knows? What the fuck? Just then, the whole hood shows up and they pay respects. I really miss my nigga. 
really miss my nigga. Why people the husband is sad or whatever now. He got a new bitch with some crazy ass erect nipples, but he still can't help but think about what's her name. Oh, fuck! Oh, I'm the train! What's the matter, Trevor? Scared of something? I gotta say, Saying Helen five times in the mirror is significantly less scary than saying Candyman. Also, it's very likely somebody would do that shit by accident. Helen is a super fucking common name. Like, could they not give this bitch a cool ghost name? It's the least they could do. She killed Candyman. Call that bitch burnt up hair lady. Fucking gooey top of shit lady. Or fucking Helen. Just fine. I don't fucking know what to call her. We hear you looking for Helen, bitch. You know, this shit was interesting enough to watch. It kept my attention, but it wasn't really scary. It scared me when I was little, but only because niggas went and actually did the Candyman mirror shit. It's probably more unsettling and bizarre, which is probably what they were going for. I mean, there was hella false jump scares and shit. It kind of went the generic slasher route sometimes, but the story was unique enough, and the actual character of Candyman was really well done. Like, this nigga himself is legit scary. Plus bees, bro. This nigga put bees in his fucking mouth, for real. It's all good though, get that checked. Uh, fun fact, the bees was real, I said that. Oh, fucking, in the early stages they were cast in the movie, their first choice was fucking Eddie Murphy. Crazy, right? That shit would have been terrible, probably. Apparently he wasn't tall enough. He's like 5'9", and this nigga Tony Todd is like 6'5". They made the right choice, definitely. I can't see anybody else playing this character. That voice and shit, that regal type presence he has, that shit spooky. That's it though. Happy Halloween. It's Halloween time right now. Whatever day you watching this Halloween, make sure to check out my other videos. I make a videos. I tell you what happened in the movies you've seen already. It's really necessary. Subscribe to me. Hit the bell so I don't get buried in your damn other subscriptions. Your fucking Takashi69 videos. Thanks for watching. It's over. Bye.